right, here we are at the Tangier Gold Mine in Tangier, Nova Scotia. It's, uh, it's also an abandoned mine site. There's rumors that it may open back up, but there's still some old structures here. Chain link fence to keep everything in. Again, that looks to be a flooded uh, added or portal over there that once was. And we're gonna go have a look. All right, this looks to be the, uh, the portal. Um, flooded, but you can see the, uh, the pumps, uh, the pipes coming out for the pumps. And it's under the water there somewhere, they just have to pump it out again, but uh, obviously unexplorable and unwalkable at this stage. One of the structures here. Don't know if it's open yet. We'll see if we poke around. You can always tell how abandoned something is is by looking up at the power service coming and unfortunately, down this pole, we end in nothing but uh, cut cables. Yeah, no electricity service, folks. Cables are all cut over here as well. Cut right off like stumps. All right, coming around the back of the structure, this is something we saw at the, uh, at the Mooseland abandoned mine site. And that is, of course, all the, uh, the cores from the drill samples, drill core samples. And there are oodles of them. Pallets and pallets, stacks and stacks, shelves and shelves. All right, the building is open. Um, it says hard hat area. Flashlights are out. Really nothing much to see. Just a great big warehousey type building. Odd to see a BMW sitting in the middle of the floor, but um, oh, <laughs> flat tire. This poor old BMW, folks. Yep. Left to rot here. There she is. Very strange. All right, there's some steps to some upper offices. Uh, hard hat area, looks like a medical cabinet up there. Let's go take a look. And we, as we come up here, some shelves. What does that say up there? Belt drive schedule, conveyors. There's lots of uh, metal pans on the floor. Looks like offices would have been here. Here's overseeing the whole room. Nothing in the medical cabinet. Yeah, more offices. Looks like a rear exit there. This is the main entrance, I guess, where they used to come in, they grab their badges or their tags. Crews, staff and visitors, electricians, maintenance, blah, blah, blah. An M20 self-contained self-rescuer, look at that. And it looks like the old bathroom zone. This is sort of on an outshoot on the side. Lots of, uh, Lots of shower stalls that have been decommissioned. Obviously the, the guys came up dirty and they came here to shower. And then over here is the locker room. <clears throat> Here's some old Apple computers and printers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's old school. Definitely old school. The old dot matrix printer. All right, here's a little bit of a closer view of uh, what I'm gonna claim is the portal. I'm almost sure that's what's down there. <laughs> that's where they went underground. Unfortunately, it is flooded to lake level. There is a lake over in the distance, over there in the sunset beyond that fence. 
and this is right up to water level with that. So it eventually just kept seeping through the ground till it filled right up again. All right, higher up the hill at the site, there is a, uh, a shaft that goes down. Looks like a, an air shaft that would have went down into the, uh, into the mine itself. Yeah, if you look inside, there is a grate uh, made of mesh that's peeled down, but there is steel bars and so no trespassing sign. If you listen very closely, you can hear the, uh, the water rushing into the mine like a waterfall down there. Take a listen. That is just a gushing, folks. No wonder the, uh, the portal is flooded. Wow. All right, up at the top of the operation is the most buildings of all. They're way up here on top of the mountain itself, here in Tangier. Pretty much nothing, just a truck hut garage by the look of things. Over here is a danger keep out building. And it looks like there may have been some kind of an elevator here, but it looks fairly plugged and poured over, backfilled. No way to tell for sure though. Now this building is in line with the, uh, with the mine down there. So let's, let's take a look in here. It's high up too on a hill. There's pigeons, folks. All right, it looks like some kind of a chute that goes down. All walls cave into the middle like a silo. Beautiful reverberation in here. And here's a look at the back lot in the sunset. The light is starting to go away, but yeah, there's all their tailings and waste piles. The pond over there in the distance. Well, my goodness, look at this. There are school buses down here. Now, what could they be for? Very strange. They look like they're full of ladders and equipment. Maybe they were used as like shuttles. Shuttle buses. Wow. No, they are full of a... Uh, equipment that's like permanently installed in them now with electric uh, fluorescent lights up up along the walls light switches well here's a strange modification and the pipe goes away in the distance down there <laughs> all right in this one i don't know just weird weirdness and it looks like they ran the engine. They put uh, tubing on the exhaust and then just ran it up to the sky like a chimney. Well, here's uh, whoop, here's looking in the building back where the hopper goes down into the ground. So sort of like a, a man way. And it goes off into another building over there. Let's go take a look. Another great big uh, warehousey type of place. Lots of echo. Here's another building. This one's wide open with this bay door. And we go in here. Again, it's hard to say what these were for. An eye wash station. Let's go have a look in here. There's lots of offices again. Oh, looks like we're into some technical areas here. Looks like there could have been uh, core samples here. Little round shelving. Hard to say though. 
respirator. Well, night has fallen. Unfortunately, that's enough poking around these buildings. Not really much to see, but uh, that brings an end to our little evening visit to the Tangier Gold Mine, abandoned mine site. Good night.